Very interesting one. It says here, determine the force in each member of the truss and indicate if the member are in tension or compression. In each member of the truss, and we need to find if it's under compression or tension. So I've got, I've got joint A, B, C, D, and I've got lots of members. And I want to find the force in each member. So where shall I start my analysis? Shall I start from A? I've got two unknown members and I've got one unknown reaction force because it's a roller. Uh, so I don't have any known here. So remember, my objective is to find a joint where I've got one known and maximum of two unknown. So starting from A is no. Let's look at B. At B, I've got two reaction forces because this, uh, the, the, the support can rotate but cannot move in X, Y, Z. And I've got three more unknowns. So I've got five unknowns. It is not the place to start my analysis. So let us look at D. At point D, I've got unknown force here. I've got unknown here. And I've got unknown here for the point D. I've got no known force. So it's not the place to start. So let us look at point C. At point C, I've got one unknown, the second unknown, and one known. That is the place where I should start my analysis. So I start at pin uh at 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 pin uh, c okay so let me draw pin c that's my pin c on pin c this force remember this 400 force is not being applied on the member it's on the pin okay it always applies on the joint okay so i've got this 400 being applied here that's my 400 I've got two more forces, okay? I've got one force here and the other force here, okay? I can do this and do this for my DC, sorry, DC and uh, BC. Now, let me see the direction of force, common sense. Okay, common sense says that if this 400 is moving, is force being applied downward, then there has to be something to, to uh, balance it out. So I guess the, the, the direction should be BC here. And that also counters uh, the direction of DC. So I guess I will stick to this one now, and then I will apply the three body diagram. So if I stick to this and apply my three body diagram, I get all my answers positive, which tells me the assumption was right. So. BC, if I look at BC, that's BC. BC is positive. So BC means it's being forced inward. And if I look at the, the member is somewhere here. Remember, this member is this one. So the force will be acting in the opposite direction. So yes, it is under compression. So my BC, this member BC is in compression. If I look at, uh, at uh, FD, that's force being applied here. And if I look at the member, for the member, the force is being applied in this direction. So my CD will be in compression. So yes, this is also in compression. So now I know uh, uh, member DC and uh, BC. So, okay, question is, uh, which joint to take now i know the i know the value of this one and this one so i cannot go to a i cannot go to b can i go to d a d i have got one known and two unknowns so d is the right place to start so let us uh, to uh, for right place to continue so that's my d, d. and uh, i've already calculated dc DC tells me what's the direction of DC. So for, for that is in this direction, and then it means it will be in the opposite direction. So <coughs> that would be the force in this direction because it's in the compression. So I've got my this, which is 400. We've already calculated. Now I've got two forces. I've got one force here and the other force here. Hmm. Interesting. 
that one force acting sorry one force acting on sorry one force acting here and the other force acting here and I want to figure it out uh, the direction of it mm, I can have this and this that will work yes as a good assumption I can also have come on I can also have uh, this and this but that will also work so it's up to you which 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 path you want to take so what I'm taking is oh no, come on okay so <clears throat> For join D, we take this and this. I've taken this already. Okay. And remember what I mentioned about the axis and y axis. I can have my x axis here and y axis, y axis here. Or I can have my, uh, come on. I can have my, uh, my x axis here and y axis here so you can split it if you want if you want to split 400 into two axes because if if let me let me explain draw it properly uh okay just so for the so that uh let me have a different color first so that you fully understand how to make life easy okay i can have my x axis here so y axis here and x axis here. So it means I have to split my, now this is basically F1, I write F1 and F2. So it means I have to split my F1 and F2 into x, y components. Or I can take uh, this as y axis and this as x axis. In that case, I have to split this and this. This is your call. Okay, your call. Both are fine. You'll get the same answer. Uh, so, in this example, we have taken uh, x axis at a certain angle. And the, the benefit of uh, uh, getting x axis, uh, what's the benefit of having x axis here, is that benefit of having x axis here and y axis here is that when I do sum of all the forces along y, this doesn't come in the equation. The only thing come to an equation is this component. So I can find this easily. But as I said, uh, you can use both, uh, but calculation gets, you, can, you have to do one extra step then. So it's your call, don't, don't. There's no rocket science here, and this is it for you to read. So, in simple words, you do sum of all the forces and you get your answer out. Now, uh, AD, uh, what I want you to concentrate on is the value AD. Now, we calculated AD and it's negative, uh -huh. which means our assumption is wrong. The direction is in this way, which means it's under compression there. So, as I said, when you assume, don't worry. The answer will tell you if the assumption was right or wrong. Now, uh, and then we look at joint A. I won't go into the detail now because you already know the value of this one. Uh, uh, and uh, at A, you got only one reaction force, and this is unknown. So one known and two unknowns. Uh, you'll find that. Won't go into the detail now. Uh, and uh, uh, and. Did we find the value of this one? Yes, sir. We did. Looking at which joint? Sir, point D, I guess. No. CB, uh, we didn't calculate CB, did we? That's what I'm saying. We calculated, hold on. We calculated, uh, uh, yes, we calculated this one and this, sorry, 
uh, this one and this one. We calculated it. We then uh, did, uh, uh, we calculated uh, uh, this one here. And uh, uh, when we looked at joint, uh, uh, joint uh, uh, A, we also uh, calculated uh, this one here. So in simple words, we calculated this, this, and this. We did not calculate this one, but now you know this and this, you can easily get this one out. Don't wait. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir.